Peggy 18. Hey, I'm Jen and welcome to our Behind the Wall monthly update. Today, I am joined by Chase Trait, my fellow community developer on Rainbow Six Siege. And this month, we will be bringing to you two more topics in the upcoming blog articles. As you know, the direction that we're taking for Rainbow Six is based on the concept of the siege, an asymmetric confrontation between two opposing forces, the attackers and the defenders. If you saw our demo at E3 or you watched the live gameplay session on Twitch, you'll know that both of these teams have tools that they're going to use to work against each other. And that's what we're going to talk about this month, the tools of attack and defense. Attackers will need to breach the stronghold and eliminate the opposing team. They'll need to find weaknesses in the defense, create new entry points, and surprise the enemy using coordinated assault tactics. To achieve this, they'll use tools like drones or breach charges. They can also repel from anywhere in the building, breaching through upper floor windows to get inside. Using tools like this is going to greatly impact how the opposing team shapes their defenses. On the other side, defenders will be able to fortify their location and mold the map to their advantage. They can reinforce walls, use barbed wires, and deployable shields amongst a vast array of other tools. In the article coming up this month, for instance, you'll find out that contrary to wall reinforcements, barricades for doors and windows are unlimited. So if you plan ahead and execute fast enough, you'll be able to maximize your defenses. Our first article covering the tools of attack is already live on the blog. Check it out and be sure to leave your reactions with us on the official subreddit. Remember, everything is a work in progress and we'd really appreciate your feedback. See you there.